In this video, I'm going to show you how I took my interior lights from this to this. While I was at it, I also did the exterior and upgraded all my halogen to LED bulbs. Now my 2021 Tundra actually looks like it was built in 2021. Oh, and doing this mod only cost me $24. But before we get started, let's do the boring bit first. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've created this channel to show the passion that I have for cars and trucks. On this channel, I'm going to be going over how I detail them, how I service them, how I modify them. So if you're someone that's into cars and trucks, then consider subscribing to this channel as I'll be uploading weekly content. Today I wanted to showcase my first mod, which is basically upgrading all the interior lights and the exterior lights. Basically, I went ahead and upgraded all the interior LED headlights because they were halogen and looked pretty dated. The main reason for doing this mod was usability. At night times, the interior was pretty dull and dark. I could hardly see stuff. The other day I dropped something. I couldn't really find it without turning on my flashlight from my phone. So I believe doing this mod is really helpful and it's a must have. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing each bulb that I change on my 2021 Toyota Tundra. I do not change the headlights, so that's going to be a separate video. But basically, I'll be showing you how I change the interior lights, the cargo lights, backup lights, or reverse lights, and then also the license plate lights. Doing this mod really improves the way your truck looks at night. Especially from outside, the truck really stands out at night because of the LED lights. Also, now my truck looks like it was built for 2021, not 2007. This LED kit works fine for Tundras that are built from 2014 all the way up to 2021. To do this mod, you're going to need some tools and some parts. To do this job, I needed some prying tools and I bought this iBright Star Super Bright LED from Amazon, which only costs $24. Also for removing the tail light, you're going to need Torx T30. And I also bought this prying kit for $7 from Amazon. And if you want to pick one up for yourself, the link is down below in the description. So here's the LED kit that comes from Amazon. Just to be clear, I'm not sponsored by iBrightStar or anyone. I use my own money to try out this mod. And so far, it's been two weeks and it's been working great. So I'm doing my feedback. It comes packaged with all the bulbs in there. Everything is labeled, which comes in really handy later on when you're actually installing the bulbs. With this kit, you get five different types of LED bulbs. You get your interior map lights, you get the center dome lights, you also get the cargo lights, the backup lights, the reverse lights, I mean. You also get the footrest or the courtesy light, but then I had trouble connecting that, so I don't think that's going to work out as the bulb size is wrong or something. For changing 90% of the bulbs, all you're going to need are some prying tools, and that's about it. But remember, for the tail light, you are going to need a Torx T30 screwdriver or socket. The very first thing that I wanted to tackle were the map lights, as these were the easiest to change. For this one, you're going to need a flat end prying tool. You're going to pop it in on the outer edge of the light, and once it's in, you're going to try and pop it out. And be careful not to drop it like I did. But apart from that, it's really easy to take it out. Just remember, take your tool and kind of go like this, the way I'm showing it, and it comes out right away. Don't apply too much pressure because you can easily break this stuff. Next, for removing the bulb itself, you're going to need a piece of tape. You're going to turn the tape into a U-shape until it becomes kind of like this. Just make sure your tape has strong adhesive on it, as weak tape will not work. And then you're going to take it in and wrap it around the bulb. Here's a close-up of me showing it, and then once it's all adhered to the bulb, you're going to go ahead and yank it out so that it comes out. And here's what the bulb looks like once it's out. Really easy to do. To be honest, this is a really clever trick. At this point, we're going to go ahead and replace it with the LED counterpart. Putting the new LED bulb is simple as just pushing it in, kind of like this. Also, it's a good idea to test the bulb by using your pinky finger and making sure the LED turns on before you put the trim piece back on. Since I want to be transparent and show exactly all the hurdles that I had during the process, I did have some issues on the other side of the map light. I had a hard time getting the LED to work. I did try several different bulbs and they were all acting up like this. But eventually I got it to work. All I needed to do was push it in and make sure that it stood on. And so far it's been over two weeks and I had no issues with the right hand side of the map light. It's been working fine, nice and bright. Once I got the LED to work, I was ready to put on the trim piece. You want to put the part that's sticking out in first and then push in the rest, kind of like how I'm showing it. And then your trim pops back in and you could also test it out, make sure that everything is working fine. It's not stuck or anything like that. To test this out completely, I turned off all the garage lights and only turned on the map lights and I was really astonished how bright they were. The next set of lights that I wanted to tackle were the vanity mirror lights. Very quickly, here's what the before and after looks like. 
to be completely honest, it is kind of actually really bright. If you're checking out your face, it kind of blinds you for a second, but then it's fine. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the old versus new, but I think it is an upgrade from the old one, so I take that. Next, to remove this, we're gonna take our prying tool and push it from the bottom. You only wanna push it from the bottom and nowhere else, and it's gonna pop right off. I also went ahead and did the other side just to show you again. All you need to do is push it in and it pops right off. As simple as that. Next, use the pointy side of your prying tool and remove the bulb. Just to show you, here's another close-up. You're going to take the pointy side and push it in and kind of lift and pull it out. Before I placed it in, thought I'd give you guys a comparison of the halogen versus LED vanity mirror bulb. When replacing the bulb, you want to place it on top and make sure that it starts working before you actually push it in. Once it lights up, go ahead and push it in and make sure that it's facing the right direction as these are directional LEDs. Again, here's a side-by-side -side comparison on the same visor. As you can see, the old ones are pretty dull and dim and the new ones are nice and bright. The next set of lights that I wanted to tackle were the center dome lights. Originally, these are all halogen and really dim at nighttime, so I really needed to update these and put LEDs in there. To remove this, all you need to do is take the prying tool and then work on the outer edges. Basically, you want to pry the side that's away from the buttons. Once you get it open, remember to take out the reflector metal plate as it would fall off if you don't. And removing the entire cover is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is make sure it opens and it pops right out. Removing the old bulbs is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is pull it out and then you can go ahead and put in the new replacement LED bulb. Once you do, make sure that you test it and make sure they all work fine. Mine did, so I'm ready to go ahead and put back the cover on. So for putting the cover back on, I put the metal plate in first, then I put the trim and then popped it back in. And just make sure everything is flush and smooth, no trim pieces sticking out here and there. Once you're done, here's what the center dome light should look like. Really brightens up the interior and the rear seats. Next, I went ahead and changed the cargo lights. I think changing these lights are a must as this helps the truck look a lot newer from outside. Honestly, this is like a two minute job because all you need to do is remove three screws and change the bulb. Here's what the old halogen bulb looks like. Makes the truck look pretty dated. To open these, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. Funny story, this screwdriver is missing since I changed those lights. Honestly, don't know where it went. But you're gonna go ahead and remove four screws and then go ahead and replace the cargo lights. Here's the packaging which clearly says cargo lights. Next, I went ahead and removed the bulb just like that. It's as simple as pulling it out. Here's a comparison between the halogen and the LED bulb. I guess technology has really advanced. The LED design looks pretty complex. Next, you're just going to go in and pop in the bulb and make sure that it's working. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the truck and it should turn on. Here's what both original and new LED bulb looks like. The new one is a lot brighter and really lights up the cargo bed very nicely. Online, when I was reading out the reviews for these, the cargo lights had the issues. Basically, after installing the cargo lights, uh, people were unable to unlock their trucks or lock their trucks. But there's a fix for this. You can just apply some EMI tape. I'll link up a video from Precision LED folks. They go in great detail on explaining how to overcome this issue. So check out that link in the description below. But personally, on my 2021 Tundra, I did not have this issue. Once I got the cargo lights installed, here's what it looked like. Here's from another side. Next, I wanted to tackle the backup lights or the reverse lights. Here's what they look like before I change them. These are the regular halogen bulbs. For changing the reverse lights, you need to remove the tail lights. And to do that, you need a Torx T30 socket or screwdriver. You're gonna go ahead and remove the two screws, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then go ahead and carefully start pulling the light. Basically, once you loosen up the screw, you can remove the rest by hand, kind of like how I am showing. Then to remove the light, you're gonna use this type of prying tool so that it goes in and unhooks the bolt or the plastic nut. For this step, I also recommend applying some masking tape around the paint work so that you don't scratch it. Even though I did not scratch up my paint, it's just a good to have safety measure. And after fiddling with it for a minute or two, I was able to get the tail light out and here's what it looked like after it was out. On the tail light, there are three bulbs. The middle one is the reverse light one. So you're gonna go ahead and twist it so that it opens and comes out. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the LED and halogen bulb. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in, twist it back on, and then that's it. I'm done changing the LED bulb. And here's me actually doing it. Putting the light back on is pretty easy. You just need to make sure you put it on the same hooks or grooves. Once it's in, you're just gonna screw it all back up and make sure it's secured and tightened. Again, use your T30 Torx screwdriver socket to tighten everything up. After I was done changing the lights, here's what it looked like from outside, and here's a backup camera. 
I don't know if you can see the difference, but I do see a lot of difference when I'm backing up, usually when I'm looking in the mirror or the reverse cam. And here's another rear view from the driver's side, as you can see before and after. And finally, here's what the reverse lights look like from the back. The very last thing that I changed were my license plate lights. For changing these, you have to go underneath the bumper, kind of like this. And just for comparison, here are the bulbs. It uses the same bulb as the map and dome lights. To remove the bulb, you need to go behind the bumper and then twist the bulb. It's as easy as that. Once you have it out, you're going to place in the new bulb. All you need to do is pull out the old bulb and push in the new one. Just make sure it's securely in and then you're ready to put this back together. For putting it back, just place it back into that hole and twist it so that it's secured. And here's what it looked like from outside. On the left is the new LED bulb and on the right is the old halogen. I personally think doing this mod really helps the truck look a lot younger or newer. The only thing that did not work was the footwell or courtesy light bulb. I think it's not the right size or maybe it is. I was able to kind of get it to work but it wasn't in securely so I just decided to leave the original in there. Here's the comparison between the two bulbs. The LED thing looks a lot thicker than the original halogen. Let me know if you know any hack around this. In the end, I'm really happy with this mod, especially at night times, the truck looks pretty awesome from outside, and actually it's more practical from inside because I can actually see stuff inside. Thanks for checking out this video, stay tuned as I'll be doing more mods on the Tundra. Until next time, happy holidays and take care.